Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel of Are You a Train Man 2? Um, I've been away for a while and uh, I apologize for that. I do have a lot of things I want to share with you and uh, some stuff that I've been working on. I have been back into the hobby and uh, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I've got a lot of the uh, the workshop room finished. Uh, it was pretty cluttered. Uh, the workbench still has a lot of stuff on it here. Uh, that's for uh, a lot of little projects that I have going on. Uh, the main uh, railroad workbench is back there. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a pan around. Um, I got some uh, signs from my wife for Father's Day. Uh, she ordered those off of eBay for me, Rock Island and Milwaukee Road. I love them. I've got uh, one of the shelves up with some stuff on it, uh, freight cars and engines and whatnot. I have this section of wall over here that's done. Uh, it goes up against the uh, big roll-up door, which is a lot smaller than it used to be. I apologize for the air conditioner sound, but it's pretty hot. Uh, that one corner there is not done yet. Uh, I bought a small window to put uh, in between the studs over there. That's behind the man door. And then of course there's a display case over there. Uh, I'm working on a diorama here. It's powered. And then the workbench for all the big tools, you know, all the bulky stuff. Of course my wife's beating station and then the train workstation um, it is a mess right now I'm working on a lot of different things I got a CF truck custom that I'm doing a USF right away truck that I'm doing um, I'm building telephone poles for the Milwaukee Road layout as well and then you know I just got a lot of cluttered junk on here a lot of end skill stuff and semi trailers and all that. But um, I also have all of my stuff finally hung up on the wall. My Rock Island clock that my wife got me. Uh, my daughter made the Are You Train Man 2 poster. And just various other little pictures and posters and uh, my baseball from, yeah, all that stuff. Angus Young from ACDC and uh, you know just everything that I have here's one of my other display cases probably not interested in that stuff and then we'll go under the duck under into the main layout room and see the Milwaukee Road layout I have a rolling cart I haven't set it up yet because I've been kind of busy with other stuff but uh, we'll go take a look at the Milwaukee Road layout Um, it's not completely finished yet. I still have a lot of work to do. Um, but uh, for the most part, a lot of the scenery is done. Uh, I've got the curved building. Uh, it's the General Electric building. GE building. I bought uh, signs and little cardboard boxes and stuff like that to put up there. And the cardboard boxes actually say GE on them. Got the Sears um, Catalog Company Warehouse. And I have the Nabisco Factory, which is uh, looking pretty good. Um, here's the other side of the curved building. Got a custom modified GE truck. Some guys loading a crate into the back. Of course, the Yard Cafe, one of my most favorite buildings on this layout. And we pan down to the harbor. The water is too blue, I think. Um, but, eh, I don't really care. Uh, I've got a sign on the Milwaukee Road uh, freight house there. Uh, that's new. A lot of the scenery is is uh, been laid down on here. 
it's not all completely done yet, but uh, you know, for the most part, it's looking pretty good. And the track is all powered. There's a guy laying down on the job. Um, so yeah, the track is, is all powered and ready to go. I do have one problem spot. It's uh, in bare plywood there, and I got a nail sticking in there. I got to drive that nail down in further and run some feeders to that switch. Because I decided to add a uh, microengineering switch mixed in with all Wather Shinohara switches, so it's um, it's a problematic switch. For some reason, it doesn't work as well. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the layout is uh, pretty much almost almost finished. And I say almost finished because I want to start spending time and money and resources on the big layouts. Uh, I know it doesn't look it from the camera. In person it's a lot bigger. But uh, the shop itself is 26 by 26. And what I did was uh, I added the center partition wall in the middle of the shop. And it's on an angle. It curves. So I'll come over here and look down the wall from this corner and you can see that it goes on a curve there's like a diagonal that board is not hammered in all the way it's just a support board I misplaced my hammer so it's just it's just barely sticking in there um, but uh, yeah back there in that corner uh, from there to there is uh, 17 feet, I think? Uh, I can't remember. I think it's 17 feet. Um, and then, of course, you know, stretching all the way down that wall is 26. And then that wall is shorter, I think. Uh, that is 12 feet. Because it's three sheets of uh, sheetrock width. And then, of course, another 26 down this way. Uh, this uh, cutout board here is just below chest height for me and um, that is actually gonna house the brackets that come out to have the HO scale layout come around all the way around the top and then down around the bottom which I don't have enough space I'll have to move the Milwaukee Road layout again over that way about two and a half three feet so I have enough room down in here to run the end scale layout. And that's going to be point to point from this wall and then go all the way around and stop over here at this side. And when it stops over here at this side, this hole in here will be Los Angeles. And then back along that wall, uh, there'll be transitions to New Mexico and then eventually into uh, Kansas City somewhere right over in there and then up into um, I'm obviously I'm going to skip a few towns so I'm gonna skip Des Moines and uh, um, Rock Island Illinois and go to Bureau Junction and then in that corner will be the beginning of the curve over the Des Plaines River into Joliet then Oak Forest, the 171st Street Curve, and then right after that will be uh, Tinley Park and uh, the bridges going over, what is it, it's not the Fox River, um, and then into uh, Burr Oak Yard over here on this side. So that's how that's going. Um, I'll take a look at the Milwaukee Road layout again. Uh, this building is new and has a somewhat of an interior inside of it. Now, let's get over here. I can see the guy in there. There's a guy in there with a couple of shopping bags. As you can see, it's weathered and looking pretty ugly. I forgot to weather the mailbox. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of little detail things that need to be added. 
and then it will be looking pretty good. Got the oil stains and the sand already at the little engine servicing facility. Um, Got to build the dirt up underneath this guardrail. This guardrail was just added recently. And then the water is a mixture of Envirotex and um, Mod Podge. And it's not all the way done yet. I do need to fix the rails on the car float because I added metal rails, which is probably not a good idea. In hindsight, if I could go back and change it, I'd add the original plastic, but then it wouldn't be powered, so you wouldn't be able to run an engine on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm liking the, um, the uh, track arrangement. I don't have a diagram written down, but you can pretty much get the gist of what the uh, track diagram is, especially if I go and do an overhead. You can see there's two tracks over there on the pier going on either side of the canning company. And then there is two tracks going on to the car float. One track for the servicing facility. One track goes into this building right there. And then it goes into a two track underneath the bridge. And there's the beginning. That switch right there is the beginning of a runaround to the other side. So I do have one runaround switch. And then that's how it's looking. Looks pretty weird from up above. So we'll go around the other side and take a look. Oh, I also got my riffers on the top of the, the disco factory. And also, the Nabisco factory doubles as a hidden staging area. Uh, the engine can bring cars in here, and then I just take the cars off and move them over there. Uh, you see I have other engines in here as well. Um, I want to add black construction paper inside there and actually paint this base black so uh, you can't really look through the windows and see the the plywood in there because when the light shines on it just right you can't actually look in there and see the plywood so that's kind of tacky I don't like that um, I got a lot of the roads done uh, well I wouldn't say completely done I do want to add some more road striping um, you know dirt and grime and grease marks oil marks uh, where the vehicles drive and whatnot uh, the bare patches here and over there. I think there's another one over there. There's one down by the bridge. Uh, those are going to be mud puddles. Um, but uh, yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect. There's uh, I see a lot of uh, flaws on things I'm going to go back and fix. But uh, you know, if you can just imagine. Oh, in the background there, these walls, well these walls will be fully covered. This wall over here, in the way in the background, is going to be painted sky blue. Uh, it's almost going to be this height for the layout in the background. So there'll be a backdrop of city and sky, minus the uh, light right here. Um, so it'll look pretty good if you get down and try to get a, a low profile photo of the layout you'll actually have sky backdrop behind it so it'll actually still look pretty cool and then there's the glare from the light coming from the other room inside of the building you can see why I wanted to add the black construction paper in there but uh, overall the layouts come along pretty nice um, does have some things I don't like like I said I'm gonna change but for the most part I really want to get started on the the end scale uh, Rock Island layout and the, the HO scale um, Portland and Western layout so uh, that's what I've been up to I did a lot of the scenery um, I had the uh, fortune of, of uh, good fortune actually of having a, another YouTuber come and visit me with his family uh, Jim Samson also known as Black Cat uh, or Black Mach 1 
Uh, he actually uh, came out from Chicago uh, a couple of weekends ago and uh, stayed for a few days and we had a good time. He's a super cool dude. Um, we uh, traded models back and forth and he's actually a very good modeler. He actually gave me this BNN box car. Uh, I bought a couple of cars from him and he sent this one for free, which was really cool. Uh, this, uh, the layout itself is Seattle in 1972, and uh, as many of you probably already know, the Burlington Northern was uh, pretty much born in 1970, so that boxcar is two years old, so that's why it's not super weathered. Hopefully that's the, you know, the gist you, you get from that. But, uh, yeah, everything, it, it's not accurate. The layout is not accurate. Uh, the pier, the, the run-up to the pier for the car ferry, or the uh, car float, is actually really, really long. So, you know, I wanted to compress it, make it shorter, change it up a little bit, you know, put my own spin on things. So you kind of get the basic idea that, you know, it's just a Milwaukee Road port layout. Um, but yeah, it's not accurate. But uh, still, the, the accurate track is kind of boring. And so I changed it around a little bit to meet my needs and, you know, just kind of have fun with it. There's actually... I think there's 11 switchable industries, not including the uh, car ferry, or the car float, excuse me. So 11 is pretty good for this layout. It's uh, two sheets of plywood, four foot wide, eight foot long, so it's four foot by 16 feet. And um, every inch of the four by 16 is pretty much usable. Even inside the large Nabisco factory, it's it's actually hidden staging so um, telephone poles grass tufts garbage weeds debris vehicles people all that kind of stuff that's on the way uh, the guardrail is not glued down there so it's just sitting there so don't worry about the bend in it um, but other than that yeah tell me what you think uh, I'm interested to have conversation with you guys on what you think about the layout, uh, the way it looks. The water should be a little more green for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I did add green in it, but it's really hard to see. Uh, I'll get a little bit of a close-up without the shine, maybe. You can see there's a little bit of green in there, but it's not enough. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not all that happy with the water, but the heck with it. I don't really care, mainly because uh, the best part of the layout is, is the actual track. Uh, this old Bachman engine still does not have DCC or sound in it, um, but it actually runs very smooth. So I just play around with that and uh, a couple other engines. Um, I do have a SW9 uh, Spokane Portland and Seattle that was custom done up by the hobby smith and that does have sound but it runs like what well, it doesn't run very good uh that's a broadway limited but uh yeah let me know what you think and uh, i'll get back to you mm -hmm.